If you're standing in downtown Portland near the waterfront and go back in time to 1930, you'll see a surprising sight. Moored alongside the Willamette River in downtown Portland was a pre-dreadnought battleship, the USS Oregon. This massive battleship was serving the last part of its illustrious career as a museum ship, and its story and fate are why we are calling it the Lost Battleship. Now to be fair, the fate of the USS Oregon is known. What we mean by lost battleship is what we collectively lose when our historical artifacts, even a battleship, and museums are lost forever. The USS Oregon represented an era when America was emerging from isolationism and began its rise as a global power. It was one of three Indiana-class battleships built by the U.S. Navy at the end of the 19th century. Its main armament was four 13-inch guns, putting it on par with contemporary battleships like Great Britain's HMS Hood. At the time, the Oregon and its sister ships were envisioned as short-range vessels that could be used primarily to defend the American coastline. After its launch, the battleship Oregon was stationed in Washington State at the Bremerton Naval Yard. The plan for a coastal battleship was thrown out the window when war with the Spanish seemed likely. In March of 1898, the battleship Oregon was ordered to the east coast of America before the outbreak of hostilities. This began a journey of over 13,000 nautical miles around the tip of South America to join the Atlantic fleet gathering in Florida. The battleship Oregon arrived in May after 66 days at sea in good order. This despite a storm at Cape Horn and little communication on the way. This was prior to the construction of the Panama Canal and the arduous journey took the Oregonian around the Cape and the delay proved to be a practical argument for the construction of the canal. Without a link between the Pacific and the Atlantic, the U.S. Navy faced a real logistical challenge defending both the east and west coasts of America. While the USS Oregon was at sea, the United States declared war on Spain in April of 1898. In response, the Oregon was sent to Cuba with the rest of the Atlantic fleet. It participated in the Battle of Santiago de Cuba, distinguishing herself in the 60-mile chase and capture of the Spanish cruiser Cologne, earning the nickname Bulldog of the Navy. The Oregon later supported the European powers when America joined the Boxer Rebellion. Limitations imposed by the 1922 Washington Naval Treaty forced the U.S. Navy to remove older Indiana-class battleships from active service. The U.S. Navy donated the battleship Oregon to the state of Oregon in 1925. This was, in effect, a loan as the Navy retained ownership of the vessel. The citizens of Oregon raised funds to build a battleship Oregon Memorial Park. As a museum ship, the Oregon was immensely popular. By 1944, the museum's guest book included over 100,000 names. So what happened to the battleship Oregon? During World War II, America had become the arsenal of democracy, supplying all Allied powers with critical war materials such as tanks, aircraft, trucks, really anything needed to fight the Axis powers. As a result, America had experienced severe shortages of all manufacturing resources. This was especially true of steel. Since the Navy still retained ownership of the battleship, it was designated by the War Production Board of 1942 as scrap. The Navy ultimately used the hull of the battleship as a barge to transport ammunition to the Pacific Fleet. With its last mission completed, the hulk of the ship remained in Guam until 1956 when it was sold as scrap to the Japanese. The battleship Oregon and her sister ships represented a time in America when the nation was just emerging as a world power. Its preservation as a museum ship in 1925 was an acknowledgement of its importance to history. There is disagreement whether the battleship would still be a viable museum today, and would the state of Oregon been able to keep up the maintenance all these years later? Despite its ignoble ending, the battleship Oregon ultimately contributed what it could to the war effort. The battleship Oregon is not completely gone, however. You can still find the ship's mast on display in a memorial in downtown Portland today. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe.